Hey, in this video, I'm delving into a topic that's often overlooked but incredibly vital, the psychology behind our financial decisions. It's easy to get caught up in the numbers, the strategies, and the practical side of money measurement, but there's so much more beneath the surface. Financial psychology isn't just an academic term, it's the key to understanding our relationship with money. Why do we make the financial choices we do? What drives our spending, saving, and interesting habits? These questions go beyond simple logic or financial advice. They tap into our emotions, our background, and our subconscious beliefs about money. Each decision we make is a reflection of the complex web of factors shaped by our personal experiences and the world around us. In this video, I'll be uncovering the hidden aspects of financial behavior. We'll look at how emotional responses and cognitive biases can lead us astray and explore ways to recognize and overcome these challenges. The goal is to gain a deeper understanding of our financial mindset enabling us to make informed, confident decisions with our money. In this section, we'll dive into the intriguing world of psychological biases and money scripts, two critical elements that often dictate our financial behaviors without us even realizing it. Psycho psychological biases are essentially mental shortcuts or heuristics that our brain uses to simplify decision-making processes. While they can be helpful, they often lead us to irrational financial decisions. For example, the confirmation bias leads us to favor information that confirms our pre-existing beliefs, potentially blinding us to more rational investment opportunities. Similarly, loss aversion, a tendency to prefer, prefer avoiding losses over acquiring equivalent gains, can lead to overly conservative financial strategies that might hamper long-term growth. Then there are money scripts, unconscious beliefs about money that we develop early in our life. These scripts, often inherited from our family or cultural background, can vary widely. Some may view money as a source of security, while others might see it as a means to power or a source of evil. Understanding and identifying our own money scripts is crucial because they often underline our financial choices. For instance, if you believe that money is the root of all evil, you might subconsciously sabotage your financial success. By becoming aware of these biases and scripts, we can start to make more conscious, deliberate financial decisions. Recognizing that these factors exist is a first step towards not letting them control our financial destiny. Moving on, let's talk about emotional spending and risk tolerance, two areas where our psychology plays a massive role. Emotional spending is often a coping mechanism for dealing with stress, sadness, or even joy. It's when we spend money to regulate our emotions, leading to purchases that might not align with our long-term financial goals. Recognizing emotional spending patterns is essential. One practical tip is to implement a cooling off period for big purchases, giving yourself time to decide if the purchase is truly necessary or just an emotional response. Risk tolerance, on the other hand, is about how much uncertainty you're comfortable with in your financial endeavors, particularly in investing. It's a complex interplay of your financial situation, your investment goals, and importantly, your psychological comfort with risk. Some people are naturally more risk averse, potentially leading to safer but lower yield investments while others might be more risk-seeking, sometimes to the point of endangering their financial health. Understanding your risk tolerance is not just about knowing how much risk you can afford to take, but also how much risk you can comfortably live with. Um, by acknowledging the role of emotions in our spending and the importance of aligning our risk tolerance with our financial decisions, we can create a more balanced, psychologically informed approach to managing our money. Now let's focus on developing healthier financial habits, taking into account our psychological tendencies. The key here is mindfulness, being aware of our financial behaviors and the motivations behind them. Mindfulness can help us break free from negative patterns like impulsive spending or fear-driven investment sources. One effective strategy is to automate good financial behaviors. For example, setting up automatic transfers to a savings account can help build savings without the mental burden of deciding to transfer each money, money each month. Another aspect is setting clear, achievable financial goals. Whether it's saving for retirement, buying a home, setting up an emergency fund, having specific goals can provide direction and motivation, helping us stay on track. It's also important to regularly, regularly review and adjust these goals, uh, acknowledging that our financial situation and priorities change over time. Lastly, educating ourselves about finance is crucial. Knowledge is a powerful tool against fear and uncertainty. The more we understand about financial products and the markets, the more confident and controlled our decisions will be. This doesn't mean that we all need to become like experts, but having a solid foundation can significantly impact our financial well-being. In conclusion, understanding the psychology behind our financial decisions is a powerful step towards better financial health. By recognizing our biases, understanding our emotional triggers, and aligning our financial behaviors with our goals, we can take control of our financial destiny. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.